Is it good? Yep, we're good. All right, welcome everybody to another ramble. Today we're going to be covering Wild Guthic Sleeps. Yes, I am in Orlando, but before we cover this Wild Guthic Sleeps rewards, we have a brand new drink to review. You all, you've all had it. I've had this a million times. Coke, zero sugar. So let's give it a little sippy sip. Oh yeah, that's just ice cold slaps. Coke Zero honestly gets a good solid eight eight point five. I'd I'd say eight point five. So huge fan. Shout out to Coke, and let's get into this. So we're recording a ramble, cold one. Get your ass over here. Get your ass over here. Come here. Whatever. All right. The quest, while Gothic Sleeps continues the Maharat storyline in an epic sprawling adventure filled with powerful artifacts, sneaky spies, and more druids than you can shake a staff at, it's one of the most iconic RuneScape quests, and we can't wait to bring it to old school. You can catch up on all the details in our Winter Summit news post. On this globe-trotting journey, you'll come up against formidable foes, including the iconic Tormented Demons, with some small changes that should make them more engaging to fight. All right, so let's check out the rewards. We are not going to cover every single word in this because it's a vacation, and I just do not want to read every single word. All right, Firelight, untradeable. What the hell is this? Our first Demon Bane weapon is, of course, an upgrade from the mighty Arclight. Unlike, unlike Arclight, this fiery blade doesn't need to... Oh, this is the thing we saw on Reddit, the little, like, fire cape sword. Did you see that? A little fire cape sword? I want that. I want it to look exactly like that, too. Unlike Arclight, this fiery blade doesn't need to be charged with ancient shards. Instead, you'll f uh, upgrade a fully charged Arclight with the tormented synapse and 74 smithing. Interesting. Okay. Firelight has increased stab and, and slash accuracy as well as the same 70% uh, increased accuracy and damage bonuses as its predecessor. Okay. So that's a 5% increase over arc light. Very cool. I, that's a really valuable reward. Actually, I want that bad. And I want it to look like just like a straight up fire cape sword. Scorching bow. This next weapon lets you fire or will let fiery arrows fly from afar. With 74 fletching and a tormented synapse, you'll be able to craft this new composite bow with 124 range accuracy and 40 strength. What's the attack rate? Four on rapid. We're still living in the days where rapid actually like shoots faster and accurate and defensive are just like the most shit styles. When is that ever going to get changed? Uh, range is 10. I always love to see that. That means it's like actually good at every single place, basically including next. Maybe. Actually, I doubt you'd use this at next. Let's see. Special attack binds the enemy for five ticks and inflicts burn for that duration. Time increased to 20 ticks against demons. Oh, shit. Okay. Special effects demon bane. 30% increased accuracy and damage. Okay. So this is the new like demon bow. I like that. Ignited staff with 74 crafting. You'll be able to synthesize the ignited staff from a tormented synapse. As is typical for magic weapons, it works a little differently from its range and melee siblings. Rather than giving you an outright damage boost against demons, this weapon instead auto-casts combat spells from the Archaea spellbook. Ooh. On its own, that doesn't sound like a great reward, but using demon vein spells will double the bonuses. Jesus Christ. Okay, this is act Archaea spells are actually going to be pretty useful after this. That's pretty intense. So... Let's see. It's special attack. So the range is 10. Again, that's actually insane. Attack rate is 5, which is typical. Um, when a demon is killed by the attack, restore 25% special attack energy. Gee okay, so it's actually a death charge. Reduce the attack delay by 3 on this weapon's next attack. Interesting. And then, of course, the special attacks are, uh, special effects are doubles demon bane bonuses. Burning Claws. Oh, God. They decided to bring the Dragon Claws over here anyway. It's just like some upgraded thing. Let's see. We have one final surprise for you today. A pair of Ferocious Claws. Since Dragon Claws are remaining in Chambers of Zarek, we wanted to add a new reward that invokes the same feeling as obtaining the OG Claws. The Burning Claws will also bridge the gap in melee spec weapons between the cheap and cheerful Dragon Dagger and monstrously expensive Dragon Claws. This weapon works much the same as the latter, while giving you a chance to inflict burn on your target. While burnt, the target will be dealt 10 damage over the course of 40 ticks. One every four ticks. and can stack up to five times. Jeez. 
Okay, we can't wait to see your feedback. Okay, so let's see this. Is this the exact same? It will bridge the gap. Okay, so it's not quite hitting the claws, I, I believe. Deal up to 175% damage over three hit splats. Okay, so just three hit splats. Is that the reason that it's like less? Um, less uh, powerful than Dragon Claws, I'm guessing. Each roll of accuracy has an increased chance to inflict burn. This is going to be pretty crazy. So we'll see. I'll have to like actually go on Twitter and see if people are thinking this is actually going to be better than Dragon Claws or not. I haven't really done much research at all into these rewards. I know this is coming late, but uh, yeah, I've been partying uh, mildly uh, in Orlando. So, okay. Um, yeah, I think uh, this is looking pretty good. There's a survey at the bottom. So guys, go down in the description, fill out that survey. This is probably already too late. The survey's already probably been filled out. You missed it. You missed the deadline. I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for listening to another ramble. Give it one more little sip of this Coke. Mmm. All right, guys, have a wonderful rest of your week. I'll catch you in the next one. If you want to support the rambles down in the description, there's also a Patreon link and a YouTube membership link. You can support me there. Thank you, guys, and I'll catch you later. Peace. Mm-hmm. <laughs>